Hi guys, I spent all of yesterday morning pretty much cleaning the Avery and also rearranging things. So I feel kind of inspired to kind of show you um, an updated view of the Avery. But also I'm hoping that through this video you can also get some ideas of how to set up your bird's cage, your bird's Avery, or also just some ideas to um, provide things for your birds to do to keep them really busy and add to their enrichment. So let's check it out. So one of the first things that um, I kind of added, which I did quite a while ago, but I don't think I got a video on it yet, is I have this little pail here that's, that says feed me on it. So I attach this to just the outside of the aviary, but you can do this um, on the outside of your cage as well. If you're gonna have kids over, um, I recommend keeping some treats inside, some of your bird's favorite treats inside, so that when kids are over, now the thing about kids is that when they see a bird, some kids are really well behaved, but others will try to scare your bird. So by keeping a pail here with um, some of your bird's favorite treats, it gives kids a way to use their energy um, to kind of positively interact with your bird. So by doing this, not only will you keep the kids occupied and teach them to respect your bird, but at the same time, Smokey and also your bird is also going to learn that kids and humans um, overall means really good things. Alright guys, so if you take a look at my backyard, we plant a lot of things. So this is one of the things that we plant. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and string it in Smokey's Avery. And this, she doesn't really eat it, but nonetheless she enjoys shredding it and just ripping it apart. So let's go inside and take a look inside. So what I do is I just find um, anywhere that I can stick the lattice in and I'll just kind of string them inside there. Like I said, Smokey doesn't really eat these, but she enjoys um, shredding the greens. As most birds, most parrots will. So there's some, and let's see if I can stick some through here. So she has this foraging ball that I can also stick the lattice through. There's this ring down here that I can kind of squeeze these into. And one more. I'll just leave this one. Like that. And as you can see, she's already interested, so she's gonna come over and show you how to shred lettuce. If you guys have smaller birds like budgies, conures, cockatiels, and you're having a hard time, even large birds maybe, if your bird is having a hard time um, taking a bath or a shower, what I find is that adding greens to their environment really encourages them to bathe. So get a bunch of these lettuce, put it on like a platform like I have here, mist it with some water, and maybe leave like a shallow bowl of water um, near it, and your bird's gonna just hop in eventually. All right guys, so one of the most important things when setting up your bird's cage or the aviary is space. Um, too often people get like overly excited and they end up crowding the bird's cage with a bunch of perches or a bunch of toys. And that really undermines the point of you know, getting your bird big cage in the first place. As you can see, I can freely move around her aviary. Um, there's a lot of space. For me, that's important because I want her to be able to fly from perch to perch. And um, I also do some recall training, some target training inside her aviary, just so that she can spread her wings outdoors. So uh, to me, that's important. If you um, could go ahead and kind of pan the camera around. So you guys can see that one perch was like on the other side of the aviary. I have a perch here, one up here, and one that connects these two. So that allows her to climb from perch to perch. Um, parrots love climbing, so that's important. But also, um, I'm not overcrowding the aviary with perches. So that way she can fly from here to here and back. But also she can fly from here all the way to this perch that I showed you earlier. So something else that I want to show you guys, which um, I'm really excited about, is I have to also think about if I'm going to space the perches really far apart, how can I make sure that she also has um, kind of play areas? And how do I make sure that she has um, places where she can kind of play with her toys? So the Avery itself came with these um, kind of this ring here. And there's supposed to be a food bowl that I can put inside. I don't like that food bowl. I like these um, better. 
So what I decided to do is I used this ring to instead hook her toys onto. So this way her toys can kind of be pulled and yanked around. African greys are also very um, interactive with their toys, so that's an important component. You can also see that all three of these toys are all foraging toys. So this allows me to hide treats, and let me do that right now. One thing that is going to keep your bird really busy is a shelled almond. And they'll be super occupied if I take this and put it in here. And Smokey would spend a lot of time trying to get the almond. I know it kind of looks impossible guys, but she could do it. it. Just takes a lot of time and that's the point. Is that you want these things to take up a lot of your bird's time. Um, and I'm just having a really hard time myself just twisting this back. So I guess that's one thing that is the downside of this ball is that it's really hard to twist back. So sometimes I just gotta snap it back. Um, almonds are really good for your birds, in moderation of course, because they're high in calcium and African greys tend to be deficient in calcium, so that's, that's a good healthy treat, again, in moderation. Here's another one of our favorite foraging toys, and I'll just hide a Nutri Berry inside, twist it back down. Okay, so I call this kind of like Smokey's, um, entertainment center or her activity center. Here's a great tip that I have for you guys. I showed you this um, foraging toy in, um, I think it was the first Avery tour that I did, but I am, honestly, I'm in love with this foraging toy. It's one of um, my favorite. And that's because there's so much that you can do. There aren't a lot of foraging toys that allows you to hide um, the bird's main diet. So Smokey eats primarily pellets, so there aren't a lot of foraging toys that allow you to do that, but this one does a really good job at that. I bought these, and I showed you guys this last time, but I bought these wooden um, balls that I kind of also throw inside. So that makes, um, this, that makes this a much more difficult foraging toy for her. You guys might also, um, you might have seen like one of those things that holds spray millets. Instead, I just take the spray mill and just a small, um, I guess, sprig of it. I stick it in here, and then I stick it in here. And I'm almost okay. positive Smokey's gonna jump right over here in a second. I kind of showed you guys this um, in my last video. Um, I actually just mounted it in the Avery today, so we'll see if I can get a clip of her playing with this later. But you can see right now that she's, um, hey Smokes, she's already foraging for the spray millet. And it's keeping her really busy. While she's kind of busy and distracted right now, I'm going to hide some more treats inside her other foraging toys. One of her favorite, banana chips. So, this coconut broke. I kind of rearranged it or kind of redid it. And I'm just going to stick that banana chip inside. Like that. I think she... <laughs> I think she figured out that I just stuck something in there, so she climbed up a little bit. Alright guys, so on the opposite side of the Avery, we have another um, activity center over here that Smokey has other toys that I strung up. So what I'll do is that these cups could be lifted up to hide treats, but also to get your birds to forage for treats that are inside. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hide some treats inside. Smokey treats. So, diced papaya, and also other Nutri Berries, and I'm just going to stick them inside. Let's stick a treat in here. Let's do a Nutri Berry in here. This one in here. Spin it down.
And I think she just caught on that I that I hid stuff inside her um, toys, so we actually gotta see her in action. Uh oh. She dropped it. You dropped it, Smokes, come here. Do you want to scratch? What is it? Okay, go on. I'm always coming up with new ideas, guys, on how I can add more enrichment activities inside of Avery. And something that I haven't gotten the chance to do yet, which I want to get to, is if you pan the camera over on this side, what I want to do is I want to drill like a hole in here, and that way I can, um, or maybe throughout this whole, the whole length of the perch, then I can hide treats inside those as well. So that's kind of an easy thing to do. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys were able to get some ideas. And if you were ever contemplating about getting an Avery for your bird, I my recommendation is it's one of the best things that you can ever do for your bird. So don't let anybody talk you out of it. Um, just go for it. And what I can promise you is you will never regret getting an Avery for your bird. So that's it for this video and I will see you guys all next time.